So Dolores Cannon first came about this when she did uh, past life regression mm-hmm. on a woman. It, it was, was like a transmission. It started to just like come through. A, she's, um, you know, basically taken into this spaceship yeah. and like she morphed into like one of them. Oh, so yeah. her mission was to be on earth to save a child. Journey, but maybe and part it, of your life journey was to help this person on their life journey. what is happening in the world right now. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I don't know. That's all I got to say. That's all you got to say. Well, (laughs) we need to say more on it. So we need to dive deep into that. Okay. So, so we did sheerly, utterly confuse people, especially with my rant on this. So so these, (laughs) these backdrop people uh, are really these lesson makers or kind of free will interrupters so that people can actually get whatever assignments, lessons, or interactions, whether for them or for another person, right? Because there's also like, what people sometimes don't get is that there's an inner intertwined web that's going on, right? Mm-hmm. So when you completely separate yourself and say, oh, my life journey, my life journey, but maybe part of your life journey was to help this person on their life journey, Yeah, you know? And so like, we forget that just as much as other people are impacting us, we're impacting other people. Mm -hmm. And we have certain things that as a result of one's interaction, that person learns, grows and discovers, you know, or advances or takes a shift or whatever. Okay, so these backdrop people. So she first came about this, you know, and I know that you didn't read the book, but you've been kind of diving into what this is. But so Dolores Cannon first came about this when she did uh, past life regression Mm -hmm. on a woman. And what was the, do you know anything about what the story was? Yeah, so the background of the story, the woman, um, she regressed into a lifetime where she was like a very hairy person. And she remembers, um, like through the regression, she's, um, you know, basically taken into this spaceship and there was, um, like these very like tall, slender white beings with like very long, like fingers, white eyes, white hair, and they were poking her. And at first she was really upset. Like, you know, they're poking at me, they're making fun of me. And then come to find out, um, she basically was like being taken by her people. And then her body just started to like let go of that hair. And like she morphed into like one of them. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. Takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one, just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. So they were kind of poking at her. And from what I understand in the interview, it was like they were poking at her and sort of like like making fun because she had this like hair. Her mission was to be on earth to save a child. And at first she was under the impression that she did not save this child. Um, the, the information that I have is like kind of broken up. So it's not, I don't have the full yeah. story. So come to find out she did actually save the child. I don't know how or why or what. But, um, through her experience on earth and this mission of saving this child, she first started to come into contact with these backdrop people. Mm. So then when she was telling Dolores a little bit more about that life experience, she started, it started to be revealed through that, um, regression. Okay. And what was her like interaction with these backdrop people? Like, do you know anything like why they were significant or how she knew that they were even backdrop people? So, uh, yeah, it's a little difficult. Um, she did not know they were backdrop people. The, the higher source started to, um, like basically it was like a transmission. It started to just like come through because it was, it was centered on her trying to save this child and her whole mission in doing that. And then when that was all coming out, it was like these backdrop people kind of like played a role in that. Got you. Okay. And so do you think that this is something that's in everybody's life? I actually don't know if I believe in this or not. I don't um, know in my soul if that feels true or not. Yeah. Because I think, because the other thing that was kind of interesting 
for me to hear was that backdrop people don't have a soul. And so I kind of sat with that because I obviously, when I work in the records, I work with the soul. So yeah. like my work is to constantly be connected to soul. And so to even consider a possibility that's that a human or that another life force or anything that's on this planet that's alive doesn't have that, it kind of trips me up. I'm like, oh, hold up, wait a minute. I don't know about that. Yeah. So I don't even know if I where I stand. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.